welcome to the cloud network in this tutorial i will show you how to install zen server version 6.2 latest version on virtual box so let what is zen server what is zen server is a server virtualization platform that offers near a bare metal virtualization performance for your server virtualized servers that you have serverized your clients and to operating system which you are using like linux uh, windows supported so this is the link where you can download this zen server so open this uh, google and type virtual box uh, you need to first download the virtual box this is the link of virtual box website and click to download link after clicking the download you will become on this uh, uh, after clicking on this uh, version latest version 4.3 uh, this supported for windows linux solaris uh, according to your purpose you can download and install the virtual box after downloading the virtual box so installing uh, just download this zen server 6.2 latest version here is the website of your zen server which is uh, open this website and so this is the website of your zen, zen uh, server open source virtualizations and here is your supported release is showing uh, this is the latest version of your Accent Server 6.2. Uh, here is installation. Whether you this is for Accenter Windows Management Console, which uh, previously video I have shown you how to install this Zen Server, and this is a Zen uh, Server I, I, I installation of ISO image. This one. So now I am going to install this ISO image in virtual box. This one uh, to download this one. Uh, just click on this your um, Zen. Uh, server installation ISO image. Uh, here you can see the on screen is a ISO image of 6563 MB the size which uh, I have already downloaded. Uh, let me show you. Mm, this is the ISO image which I have already downloaded. And uh, open your virtual box and click to new and type your uh, Zen and server and select the version 6 and type. Uh, uh, give us and select your this uh, 32 bit or 64 by default uh, click next uh, assign the ram uh, according to your ram how much you have in your system or laptop i am assigning it is 2 gb uh, recommend is given 192 mb uh, you can assign this is click to create a hard drive now and this is the is image that we are going to assign click next uh, assign next uh, this is the hard disk size which i am going to give at least uh, uh, 20 gb for the installation uh, this is the location where it is going to in storage in your um, system so uh, just uh, changing i have changed the location and click to create now uh, just go to settings uh, and go click on systems and check floppy and uh, go to the storage assign your uh, on empty uh, click on empty and assign your ISO, ISO image where you have downloaded or storage uh, click to cho choose the path and uh, go to my desktop uh, click to desktop and click here this is my ISO image and open it here and then go to network uh, select bridge bridge adapter to access internet after installation so click to start after save so on your screen is showing that welcome to zen server to install or update press enter so i um, didn't I, I didn't do anything it's just started automatically installation to install or upgrade means just need to press enter so automatically it's going to uh, booting installation and now select your uh, keyboard language uh, whether you which country you belongs to and type press tap to, to click enter ok and uh, it's showing the system has to set up so so before you continue you read the instruction showing that these setup tools can be used to install or upgrade your zen server it's supports is you having zen server previous version 5 it will upgrade to 6 version and is going to format your erase data whatever you have on the disk so before you doing anything you can uh, take a backup reboot it and then take a backup so just uh, press uh, ok enter to have installation Sip, accept this license agreement and then following the problems uh, so press uh, ok to begin this uh, continue installation 
and this is my uh, virtual machine disk storage this is the hard disk and uh, just if you want to enable thin provisioning optimization story for zen server check this box press tab and press space bar to check this option press enter by typing ok and here is showing please select the type of sources you would like to use for installation like you want to install in a media or through FTP, HTTP or NFS just go for this uh, local media only we are going to install and press tab and press enter ok by setting we would like to install this supplement packages yes or no I am going to press no no supplement package we would like to test your media uh, skip this verification and go for ok and type the password and please remember this password whatever you are giving uh, do not forget press confirm the password and press ok and you are showing this automatic dsp configure or else static means you need to assign manually ip address just press a tab and go press enter ok and here is showing host name configuration automatically where dscp will select or else you can have a manually also so dns configuration all those settings i have given manually you can have your own settings press enter ok and select this uh, geographical area for this year time zone that is so like, selecting by time zone like india and i have selected which country you belong to you select uh, after that uh, uh, you need to select your time zone city area whether each uh, you can select according to your right okay and then use ntp or manual time entry uh, you go for these uh, uh, system timings determine uh, use manual time entry okay and go for this if you want to do any changes right now you can go back and do the changes so i'm going to install now press enter above screen you can read that welcome to zen uh, server version 6.20 and it has been released copyright 2013 and now the installation has been completed we need to re reboot this one press enter to reboot now now you can see on the screen this is the uh, stated dis status display and uh, about uh, this network configuration showing next one authentication about you can see this is left side panel customized system and uh, right side you can see about authentication system display device showing IP address my 57 and uh, next one authentication virtual machine this BIOS hardware configuration is there. Need to set up means just press enter and view the details. Time zone is there. So this all those things. If you want to shut down or reboot means uh, just have a enter or exit for this mode. And we are going to press OK from here. Local shell command is yes. we going to press enter OK. And just type the password. Press tab and type password. What you have given during the installation and press and ok and we are going to log into a terminal uh, here is we are logging uh, just type ls as you can see the files on the screen showing and uh, if you want to exit means from here just type uh, exit from this mode you will be exit uh, just if you want to go to backup you need to take a backup means uh, you can take this from this option remote service configuration is there uh, just press and enter you will go for up and down press up arrow and down arrow from your keyboard and to shut down from this ones uh, you can go for this press enter here and here is showing enter enter or exit maintenance board uh, we are going to shut down the server press enter and go for this uh, for escape no and uh, f8 for this yes shut down So it's going back, see. Shutting down. Uh, if you get any problem during the installation, if you have any, uh, get any, if you get any error miss, you can comment uh, below to my video. And uh, please subscribe to IT Cloud. Thank you for watching my video.